Welcome to Shecky. in Shamachi. Um, so today actually I rented a car um, and we're going to be exploring the other areas of Baku. So when everyone on my tour found out that I was actually going to be driving, um, they were all like, are you serious? You're driving here? Um, so I was a bit nervous. It was absolutely fine. The roads here are beautiful. I'll probably do a separate video on driving in Azerbaijan for anyone who would consider driving here. But otherwise, yeah, we're here in Shamachi um, at the mosque just as a stopover on our way to Ganja. Then after Ganja, we're going to go to Sheki and then Gabala and then back to Baku again. So that will be around four days. Um, yeah, but I'm looking really forward to it and this mosque looks beautiful. So let's go check it out. Other one it says 743 so I'm guessing it's got something to do with the years that this was built, rebuilt, probably destroyed. Yeah it wasn't too bad of a journey actually. The roads are pretty okay. Um, it's a very quiet town. So Sheki is mainly in the mountains, um, so it is cooler here, however it is quite humid actually, so I'm still sweating a lot. Um, but yeah, it's really nice so far. Um, I was told by the hotel that the people here are really nice, um, which is great. And uh, the hotel's nice, it's like a boutique hotel, it's around 10-15 minutes away from the centre. Okay, but otherwise right now we're just walking to the palace of the Sheki Khans. It's about 10 minute walk. Yeah, I'm, I'm shattered guys. FYI, if you are staying anywhere not near the Caravanserai or Sheki Palace Hotel and you are not a young fit person unlike me, then um, just take a taxi. Just just do it. I'm, I'm like, I'm so unfit. Okay, so now we're at the Palace of the Sheki Khans. And I just went inside but you're not actually allowed to record inside for some reason. Um, but it's actually a summer working house for the previous Sheki Khans, which obviously the city is named after, I'm presuming. But yeah, you're not allowed to film, but it's got stained glass windows everywhere, which when the sun shines through, it kind of gives a, a colorful ray of light. So then I headed to the caravanserai and in Sheki there are two caravanserais. There's an upper and there's a lower. Honestly, I can't remember which one I went to, but one of them is an active hotel whilst the other it was currently under construction. Now I didn't actually stay at this caravanserai, however I did stay at a caravanserai in Ganja and I can't wait to share that with you guys because that was such an amazing experience. Now, historically, caravanserais were used by travellers on the Silk Road as a point to rest, feed themselves, but also to feed and rest their animals. And this one here in Sheki is one of the oldest in the country, so it was really, really amazing to see. I just showered, um, and even though I just showered, I've now sweated again because it's so hot. And we're going to be heading to the um, 
We're going to be heading to the Winter Palace now. Um, so it's like the same Sheki Khan Palace, but this time it's the Winter Palace. The other one was a Summer Palace, and apparently it's only kind of used for administration work, or, or was used for administration work. Um, so I don't actually know where we're going, because the signs say one way, but the map says another. Um, but nevertheless, we'll roll with it. Um, yeah, it's just a really small place, and I think... And I'll give my kind of final impressions of Sheki at the end of the video. But one other thing is that if you wanted to stay here longer, you could also go to the city of Kakh, which is about an hour north of here. Um, and I've heard that's got some beautiful nature and it's just a very scenic place. Um, so if I were to come back, I would go to Kakh as well. Okay guys, so I am at the Sheki Khan Winter Palace this time. Um, it's just as beautiful as the Summer Palace. Um, again, inside you can't take photos, um, but it's very similar beautiful inside this one is actually empty I'm like the only person here and it was a bit difficult to find um, but definitely worth coming here definitely if you go to the summer palace you go to the winter palace as well um, no but great experience and it was only five mana entry for both this palace and the other palace five each now the windows of both this palace and the other palace we went to are so beautiful and they're actually a type of cultural heritage in Azerbaijan used since the 12th century called Shabaka, which is basically coloured stained windows which are placed together with wood and because of the geometry of the shapes that they make, it actually sticks and holds together without using any glue or nails, so it's a really really impressive form of art. So guys, we are back in the hotel after exploring the Sheki Khan palace. So first impressions of Sheki overall. Um, I think one night is perfect here. I don't think that there is much to do for you to stay more than one night. Um, to be honest, everything can be seen on a day trip. The only issue that I have with going on day trips is that if you are exploring Azerbaijan and you're going to places like Ganja, Sheki, Gabala, they're all four hours away from Baku. And so you can do them on day trips and they'll take like 12 hours the whole entire day and you can spend two hours in each of these places. But to me, it just does not make sense because, for example, if you go on a day trip to Sheki from Baku, you have to actually go past Gabala. So if you're going to go to Sheki and Gabala, it just does not make sense to go Baku, Sheki, Baku, Gabala, Baku again. It just, you know, it's just wasting your time. So I just personally think it's better to just, if you are just going to do Sheki and Gabala, go to Sheki, stay in Sheki, go to Gabala. I haven't been there yet, so we're going to go there next. So that'll be the next video. But it just doesn't make sense. So yeah, that's just my recommendation. I was just drinking water because my throat was really dry. And uh, the label actually says uh, Karabakh is Azerbaijan. So obviously that's it's quite a hot topic here. Same how in South Korea they, they talk about North Korea all the time. Over here the Nagorno-Karabakh um, conflict has had a huge impact on their society over the past few years. In time, I bought some halva. Now in my culture we have halva quite a lot and I personally don't like it however I've been told it's kind of a speciality here and every other shop on the street is like a, a sweet dessert shop um, and it's got a nice little box that says a uh, Sheki Halwa so um, we're gonna try it I'm gonna try it live on camera um, so you can see my first real reaction um, I usually don't like Halwa and I've actually been given quite a lot um, so we'll see how it goes it's very sticky Okay, and it's got saffron on it, I think. It's okay. Very sweet and very nutty. It's like the clava, but not really. It's a... Uh, I don't know. It's got a bit of a tangy aftertaste to it. It's nice. I don't think I'd have it every day, but it's nice. But anyway, it's a speciality of Sheki, so if you come here, gotta try it one more thing guys if you like the video please like it below please subscribe it makes me happy and that hopefully should be reason enough to subscribe all right see you in the next one